Hey everybody, welcome back to another classwork video. Today we're going to be looking at the normal distribution and why it's so normal. So to find the normal distribution, what we're going to do is we're going to click in box one and then we need to show the keypad at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen and click the keypad. Now on the right side of the keypad, you'll see the button called functions. We're going to click on the functions button and it's going to give us four submenus, trig, stats, distributions, and miscellaneous. We're going to click on distributions. And then under distributions, we're going to click on normal distribution. So just click that. And then the normal distribution will pop up. So now I'm going to hide the keypad. And what we're going to do with this normal distribution is we're going to do the first problem on the classwork. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to choose our mean and our standard deviation. And usually it'll tell you what those two numbers are in the problem. And in the first one, it tells us that our mean is 28. That's our average. So I'm going to type in 28 and then a comma. And then on the other side of the comma, I'm going to type in the standard deviation, which is five. So now we have our normal distribution. I can't really see it that well. So I'm going to click the magnifying glass at the bottom of box one called zoom fit. And now we can see our normal distribution. The normal distribution is always going to be a bell curve. Now what we want to do with this is we want to click the box that says find cumulative probability in our CDF, which stands for cumulative distribution function. We're going to click that box. And what you'll notice when you click the box is the area under the curve all goes green. And it tells us that the area under the curve is one. Now the minimum and the maximum are going to be our starting point and our end point. The minimum is always gonna be on the left side and the maximum is always gonna be on the right side. So the first question asks, what percentage is less than 40? So if you wanna do less than 40, then that means the maximum is going to be 40 and we're going to leave our minimum as negative infinity because we want the percentage that's less than 40. So the minimum has to be negative infinity. And it gives us our answer down here, 99.18%. So that's going to be 99.18%. Okay, so the next question asks, what percentage is greater than 31? Okay, this is a greater than question. So we need to put in 31 for our minimum and our maximum, we don't have a maximum. So we're gonna delete it by hitting backspace. So our maximum is going to be positive infinity and it gives us the answer at the bottom, 27.43% if I round to the nearest hundredth place. So that answer is going to be 27.43%. Okay. Now we're going to skip down to number five and it asks which percentage of values is between 26 and 32. So for this one, it gives us a starting point and an end point. It tells us our minimum is going to be 26 and our maximum is going to be 32. So now putting in those two numbers, it gives you the answer at the bottom 44.36%. So you're going to write down 44.36%. Okay, so now we're going to do questions three, four, and six. Number three says, how many values are less than 20? So we're going less than 20. That means that 20 is going to be our maximum and our minimum is going to be negative infinity. So I'm going to get rid of the 26 and it gives us a decimal. 0 0.0548 if I round that seven up to an eight. So I'm going to use 0 0.0548 and I'm gonna multiply that decimal by how many values we have. And in the problem, it tells us that we have 400 values. So I'm gonna multiply this number by 400 and see what I get. And I get 21.92. That's going to be our answer. And I'm going to round to the nearest whole number. So our answer is actually going to be 22 if I round up. Okay, so now let's do question number four. 
how many values are greater than 27? So we need the number of values that are greater than 27. That means our minimum is gonna be 27 and our maximum is going to be infinity or positive infinity. And it gives us a decimal 0.5793. So I'm gonna take that decimal and I'm gonna multiply it by 400. So 0.5793 times 400. What does that give us? 231.72. Round that to the nearest whole number. So I round up to 232. And that's gonna be our answer for that one. Okay, and the last question asks, number six, how many values are between 30 and 39? So my minimum is gonna be 30 and my maximum is going to be 39. So I'm gonna change the minimum to 30, the maximum to 39, and it gives us a decimal 0 0.3307 if I round up. So I'm gonna take that decimal and I'm gonna multiply it by 400. So 0 0.3307 times 400 is gonna give us 132.28. Round that to the nearest whole number and you get 132. So that is normal distribution and I hope that helps.